Hello everyone, I am Tanu Joor and I welcome you all back to the question discussion series of Dips Academy. Today we are going to discuss a question from CSIR NET 2019 examination. This is a question of linear algebra and this is a multiple select question that is from section C. So more than one options can be correct. Let us start with the question. In this question we have given a 3 cross 3 real matrix and x. x is the collection of all those invertible matrices such that CAC invert is triangular so first of all we should know one thing that we need in this question here we have given that CAC inverse is triangular and CAC inverse is similar to A first of all we should know a term here triangularizable we say a matrix A is triangularizable if it is similar to a triangular matrix that is a matrix A is triangularizable if it is similar to a triangular matrix. Here, CAC inverse triangular implies A is triangularizable. Also, we have that we have one more equivalent condition here. A matrix A is triangularizable if and only if it is similar to a triangular matrix, or A is triangular triangularizable in field F. Triangularizable in F if and only if all of its eigenvalues lies in the field F in field F that is its characteristic polynomial splits into real fact into linear factors in the field F CAC inverse is similar to A if there exists any invertible at matrix C such that CAC inverse is triangular, then it implies A is triangularizable. So we have A is triangularizable if and only if CAC inverse is triangular for some invertible C. Now first option states that x cannot be an empty set but what if we take A to be a non-triangularizable matrix? If A is non-triangularizable then CAC inverse cannot be triangular for any matrix C. For option A, let A be any non-triangularizable matrix. Zable matrix. Let A such that C A X is X into X square plus one. So a matrix with this characteristic polynomial is non triangularizable and for such matrix A the collection X which collect C invertible such that CAC inverse is triangular is empty set. So option A is incorrect. Now let us move to option B. Out of B and C only one can be true. B states that if X is empty set then A is diagonalizable over C and C states that if A is if X is empty set then A is not diagonalizable over C. So let us discuss the case where X is empty set. C we consider X to be 5. That is 
देयर डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट सी इन जी एल थ्री आर सच दैट सी ए सी इनवर्स इज ट्रैंगलराइज ट्रैंगुलर दैट इज ए इज नॉट ट्रैंगलराइजेबल इन आर ए इज नॉट ट्रैंगलराइजेबल इन आर so there must exist complex eigen values of a there exists complex eigen values of a but since a is a 3 cross 3 matrix so degree of cax degree of characteristic polynomial of x is 3 so it must have one real root at least but it is non triangularizable so it must have one complex root also and since complex root appear in pair here as we have a real polynomial so it has two distinct complex roots two distinct complex roots so we get here that the eigen values of a are three distinct numbers one of them must be real and other two are complex conjugates so a has three distinct eigen values which implies a is diagonalizable over c a has three distinct eigen values so A is diagonalizable over C. A is diagonalizable over C. This implies our option B is incorrect and option C is correct. B is incorrect and C is correct. now our option d let us come to our option d option d states that if x equals to 5 then a has no real eigen values this is incorrect obviously we have seen in this example for this a whose characteristic polynomial is this the set x is empty but this has a real eigen value and also uh, a is a 3 cross 3 matrix so its characteristic polynomial is a degree 3 polynomial or degree polynomial with real coefficient must have a real root so a always have one real eigen value at least therefore option d is also incorrect from here only we can imply option d is incorrect therefore out of these four options only option c is correct Thank you so much for watching the video I hope you have understood the question Thank you